What's up? Welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name's Roger Sang, and today we are obviously, because you clicked on this video, we are obviously going to talk about this. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and this is the creator combo. It says right there, creator combo. It has a lot of goodies in here. This was the product at first when it was announced. I was like, cool, I've seen a product like this before. Do I need it? Why do I need it? We're going to talk about that today. And I'm just going to spoil the ending for you. I highly recommend this product. So let's get inside what this Osmo Pocket 3 creator combo is. It comes in this really nice, almost like waterproof like case, but that's everything in here. Like we're talking about how compact this is here. This is how amazing this is because I'm shooting right now on a Sony. It's, it's kind of this uh, giant rig, right? And to vlog with it with the tripod as well, like to vlog with it, that's something giant to hold. But everything you need is right here. And the quality is actually pretty good. That's the thing is we get all these action cams. We get a lot of small cams, but do they perform well? This right here does. So before we get into specs and the why, let's just open this thing up. Let's check out what's inside of here. Because this is the creator combo pack, you get this extended battery here as well. It has a quarter inch 20 thread on the bottom. So you can mount like a tripod adapter on there. Speaking of tripod adapter, we have this handle slash tripod as well. You could screw that on the bottom of here. And now you have a tripod stand that you can put this on. Also, there's this shorter adapter here compared to this one. And only the larger one can help you extend your battery life. You also have a USB-C to a USB-C cable. There's also this wrist strap that comes with it. So this comes with a DJI Mic 2, not to be confused with the version one. Um, let, let me actually get that over here. Not to be confused with the version one right here. So I have in my hand, we have version one and in this hand we have version two. You'll see here that there's this plastic cover on it and the weight feels pretty much the same, but I'm okay these days with as much gear I've been lugging around. Like, you know, the lighter, the better. If it's plastic, it feels cheaper, which this does not feel cheaper. But if it is, I'm all for things that are more lightweight because I'm carrying a lot of stuff around, but this is gonna help me resolve to not carry a lot of stuff around. Also in here is this dead cat that you can attach to the top of the mic here. You hear that snap in. Okay, so one thing that I was like, I was looking through the packaging and I didn't know where this was, but previously with the version one, you have this little square plate that goes on here and that can magnet to your shirt. So you put this on the inside of your shirt and then you, this can magnet to the outside and just sits there. I thought I lost it because I know it came with the packaging, but when you open it, I discovered it's in this little part right here. It's kind of hidden. So you open that. It's in this plastic pouch. It's tiny, so you don't want to lose it. But there it is, and you can magnet that on the back. And you can use that and put it on your shirt and wear that wherever you want so that you're getting that nice audio from your microphone. We now have the actual Osmo Pocket 3 itself. So here it is. It comes with this cover here, this guard. And inside of this guard, I have placed this wide angle lens that, that comes included in the Creator Combo Pack. And it's magnetic as well, so you can magnet that to the front of the lens. And there, see there's a spot here, it says for a wide angle lens. And you could also purchase the Black Pro Mist filter, but that doesn't come with it. I mean, this carries everything for you here. This is pretty cool. Okay, the last but not least is the gimbal itself. And here it is. It just fits in the palm of your hand. It really does. Or in your pocket, right? Because it's called a Pocket 3. Before we turn it on, I want to show you some of these attachments here and why they're important. So as you can see, if I hold this in the palm of my hand, it's kind of small, right? It, it feels small. So a little more length there would help out and make it a little more comfortable. So what you have is this adapter. I can snap that on. And now that's a little easier to carry because now I have more space for my hand um, to hold on to. But this one is just an extender, but it does have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. So you can use this right now. There's a USB-C on the bottom, but this you add on there. Now you get to mount this to like a tripod mount or anything that requires you to have a quarter inch 20 adapter. So that is just an extender. But this one, this one is a battery pack. So if I plug it in, the light comes on and now it shows me that my battery packs at 98% and my Osmo Pocket 3 is at 94%. Okay, so finally, let's turn this thing on. We turn this on by pushing the screen and there it goes. So right now, if I rotate the screen, it'll say turn off in two seconds, but if I continue, it'll switch to vertical shooting mode like this. I'll hit continue. And now I'm shooting it vertically on my screen here, as you can see. 
Now it's at 3K24. If I rotate back, it'll go back to 4K24 in landscape mode. Now, the reason why I would need something like this is because the iPhone alone shoots at 4K24 and this shoots at 4K120, which is awesome if you want to get the slow-mo shots. But at the same time, this has a one inch CMOS sensor in it and the iPhone sensor itself is a lot smaller. When it comes to out of body stabilization, I think that this takes the cake here because it's not cropping anything in to stabilize it. Another really cool feature about the Osmo Pocket 3 is that it also shoots in 10-bit D log M. So if you want to color grade and post, you have a lot more options and flexibility there because it's recording at the high quality. Okay, I've got the extended battery grip on. We're shooting in D log. I'm not color grading this at all, but this is how D log looks, the color of D log. And yeah, this is also how it sounds. I'm not wearing the microphone. This is the in-body microphone for another view of just looking straight ahead. Same settings, this is D-Log M, shooting forward, outwards. Okay, similar settings as before, but instead of D-Log M, this is now standard color. So you see it looks pretty good, standard settings. So if I need to film something fast and I don't have the luxury of doing color grading afterwards, this is how it looks. I have my arm fully extended and I have it on top of the battery extender mount. And yeah, hopefully that looks awesome to you. Beautiful cloudy skies out here today. And you'll also notice I keep looking at the screen, so I wonder how that looks like, because the camera's right there, how that looks from the viewer side. So there's an F2 lens on this, which is crazy for a lens this small. And what that can do for us is it gives us like this awesome product showcase. So I'm gonna put this on the stand, then I'm going to triple click. I'm gonna play this up so it looks at me. And uh, let's see here. I'm gonna press record. And now I'm gonna hold up this mic and you could see how out of focus it made me. And it does this product showcase to where it shows the product in front of me. If I take it down, it's now focused back on me, which is crazy for a device this small. Let's do it again. There's a product showcase. This is cool. It's a DJI mic too. It's actually really awesome. I'll make a video about this soon. But if I take this down, now it goes back to me. And that's crazy. You know, let's do a test here. If we do the wide angle lens, if we put on this 0.75 times 15 millimeter lens, does product showcase work in that as well? So now I'm a little wider, wider, wider. Okay, uh, let's do product showcase. It works in this wide version as well. This is crazy. It works in this wide version as well. It just works. It just works. Isn't that crazy? It's insane. Okay, so that is product showcase mode. Okay. So we talked about this wide angle lens that comes with it. There's my standard lens. If I put this wide angle lens on, it just magnets on right there. And now it's shooting me at a wider view. But you know, also you can purchase the black pro mist filter. There's also companies out there that are making lenses that go on here as well, but you can't stack the lenses. Just so you know, you cannot stack the lenses. So you're kind of stuck with one thing or another. As I mentioned before, if you triple click one, two, three, it'll rotate the lens that way in front of you, then if I triple click again, it'll point towards me in selfie mode. And then also, say I'm shooting and it's getting crazy, if I double click, it'll recenter the gimbal. Active Track 6.0. This is new in the Osmo Pocket 3, but 6.0, they've had six generations of Active Track and it just keeps getting better and better. So let me show you a sample of here of how it works. So Active Track stabilization, you'll see right here, um, there's my face and I tap on it once, it's gonna go orange, kind of detects me there. But if I do it twice, double tap, you'll see active track is enabled. And I can go anywhere I want and I can walk around here. I can kind of go back and forth. I don't even have to look at the camera, but it still follows me. And here I go, I'm walking around, looking at the beautiful sky here. You can see the mountains up here. Um, it's really beautiful here. And also we've got cloudy skies, mountains. Really couldn't ask for a better day um, when it comes to shooting something with the perfect color out here. Also, what's great about Active Track is I can walk and hold this in my hand and I can vlog and I don't even have to look at my camera or my hand to know that I'm still in frame. So there's that security there to know that I've still got the shot with me in it. Another thing that's cool as well is I have my gimbal over there. I have my app right here and I can actually draw it around my face. And now it says follow and now it's following me in Active Track everywhere I go. So let's start recording. And most people don't walk like this and talk like that. Most people are walking like this naturally, coming forward and backwards to the camera, almost like there's somebody else holding the camera. And that's what I love about this is, I could truly film myself and not have anybody else here with me. I've got great audio, I've got tracking on me, 
and it's just a good time. It's actually a really good time. The sun is rising, and check out the backdrop behind me. You can't beat Utah. Okay, let's talk about audio quality. So there are built-in mics that produce great audio quality, and here's how it sounds. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, but from the distance over here, that's how the stereo audio sounds. What is nice about it is that you get that ambient sound, you hear the city, you hear everything around you, but you don't get that full audio of the person that's speaking. So that could be a hindrance in your production. So that's why it's nice to have this little mic here with me right there. Okay, then your second option is going to be with this DJI Mic 2. It comes with one of them. This is the next generation. You can only buy this with this. Like that's the only way you can buy it right now at this current date. And you can wear this audio while you're further away. And this is how it sounds. On the DJI Mic 2, it's on my jacket right here. But what's cool is you get the feedback on screen of your audio levels. So I really love that. Okay, as for the audio test, this is how it sounds when I'm wearing the mic. I don't have to like look into the mic or kind of go down but I could talk and know that at least my audio is sounding pretty good from the distance that I'm at. But also, as I mentioned before, if you have the version one of the DJI mics, which is great, they sound great, you could still use this. You would just pull out your receiver and make sure you have the USB-C attachment on there and you can plug this into the bottom of the Osmo Pocket 3. And now you can use this transmitter with your microphones from the version one. And the protective case that you get with it, I could take off this lens, there's a special spot for it right there, wide angle lens, place that in, and then screen facing in, I slide that in, and now that is compact and ready for me to take wherever I wanna go. This really does fit in my pocket, hence the name DJI Pocket 3. And it's really good, but also you can clip on this microphone on the top, take with you, and now you have a full setup there that you can just carry with you. Um, to really vlog more and you can capture more and you have that quality as you've seen here today. So let's talk about what I really like about this. I really love the image quality and the bokeh blur. Like that for me is why I shoot on these Sony mirrorless cameras is to get that depth from there and right there. It's like, I want that depth. I, I really wanna be able to tell that story in the fullest quality that I can. And even though this isn't perfect yet, we are very, very close to this taking over and the size of a product like this is all that we're going to need to be able to do these exact videos on. And technically you can't do that today with this, but I just want a little more crispiness with the bokeh blur. This package right here, it's amazing. This is a great case. This is very small, like I said. When I travel, I bring so much video gear that I don't even use it half the time. Like I don't even use half the stuff I bring, but I bring it because I'm like, I have an idea that I want to shoot with. This is the ease of use. I could take this out and I could shoot with this. I can capture what I want to and be proud of it. I don't have to worry about it being a small sensor and not getting the image quality that I really, really wanted. The size of this thing, you really can't argue with that size. And another thing that I really like is the price for this. And this is the creator combo pack right here. All of these items right here come in this combo pack. And right now it's at US dollars of 669 US dollars. And 669, that's really good given that if you were gonna build a standard traditional setup, you would have your camera that's already over that price. You get a tripod or gimbal, you add that on, you're gonna add microphones on there. That's gonna add up as well. And it's crazy how cheap this is. You could really run a full YouTube channel from this setup here, and it's crazy. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. If you want to support the channel, I'll have a link to this in the description below. Um, it is affiliate links, so it's no cost to you, but every purchase that you make, I get a little kickback on, and it helps me fund this channel and build this channel. So if you made it this far, thank you, thank you so much for sticking around, watching. If you found value in this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends, and let me know if this is gonna be the next purchase that you're gonna make to add to your creator pack, because isn't that insane, that image quality that you get from this? You could tell crazy stories like this without worrying. They really eliminated that barrier of like, ah, oh, should I shoot something today? If it's this easy to do, you bet. This is awesome. And I'm just rambling now, but last but not least, it's fun. I think that with a new product like this, regardless of the features that are really great, if it's fun for you and it inspires you, it's such a great product to have. And I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.